What's good YouTube? Hope all is well with you. The Valiant Sense coming at you once again with the third and final video of the mini series, the Lalabo mini series, the cold weather fragrance Lalabo mini series, if you will. As I stated in the previous two, went out of town for work, found a Lalabo boutique, and I never tried cold weather fragrances from the house of Lalabo, only warm weather. And so I wanted to give cold weather a shot and boy, did I bank on luck out on some good fragrances that I selected, researched them and got samples, $7 samples. And the third and final fragrance is now the uh, salesperson at the boutique, he said it's called Tay, Tay Noir 29. Uh, the hyphen, if you can see the little hyphen right above the E there, that's not a accident mark or scratch or anything. That's actually a hyphen. And he said Tay Noir now. It's not on Fragrantica. I haven't seen it anywhere else. Um, I wouldn't doubt that it's on the actual full bottle because I remember seeing the full, uh, looking at the full bottle and remembering the hyphen if it was there. But instead of saying the Noir 29, it's Tay, Tay. It's exactly how he said it, Tay Noir 29. So we're gonna open this up. But before we do that, I wanna say shout out to all of my subscribers and viewers. Appreciate each and every one of you for subscribing and for watching. Plenty of fragrance reviewers out there. You've chosen mine. I am forever grateful. These are first impressions because I bought these uh, samples here after looking at the notes and trying them out on paper, but have not tried them out on skin. Of course, you've already seen uh, the uh, previous two. If you haven't seen the previous two in the mini series, go back and check those out. They are on my uh, in my playlist for 2024 reviews, as well as just on my channel, uh, the The Valiant Sense channel. And so again, this is Tay Noir. light I know it's blinding Tay Noir 29 but I'd rather show you this anyway this is the actual Lilabo sample pack Tay Noir 29 and so we're getting into it we're gonna spray it and we're gonna sniff it and we are going to continue to uh, read through the accords as well as the actual note breakdown Ooh. That's a lot of spray. And so far, if you watch the other two videos, Tonka 25 was nice. Wasn't sure about that one. Still got to test out the rest of the sample. I did say that Labdenum 18 was full bottle worthy just off of first impressions because it was so good. Well, now let's check out Tay Noir 29. Hmm. It's different on skin, a little different on skin than it was on paper. But I'm definitely getting that noir feel from other fragrances that have done noir, a noir fragrance in their line. I understand by now what noir is about and how it smells like. Yeah, this is a noir fragrance. This is. Noir from this house, or this is something something noir, or this is noir something something from this house. Yeah, you get that. It's kind of hard to hard to describe. Uh, I was gonna say hard to subscribe. It's not hard to subscribe. <laughs> Go right ahead and subscribe. Click that notification icon bell. Even if you don't get the notifications, just do it anyway. I mean, I do it. I do it for other people when I don't get their videos. I don't know. Just, just, just think about me sometimes, okay? <laughs> okay. So, Tay Noir will go through the main accords, and I can tell you right off the bat, it's, it's very unique. It's very unique. Um, let's go to the main accords. Woody, fresh, spicy, sweet, aromatic, fruity, tobacco, green, citrus, powdery, musky. Now, off the bat, which is first impressions, because I would love to give it a full day wearing, all that good stuff, full week, use up the sample. 
It is unique. I can't say that lab denim, it's, it's full bottle worthy like I did with lab denim. Lab denim is full bottle worthy. And I will just go ahead and announce out of the three, lab denim 18 is the champion. That second one that I reviewed, go back and watch that video if you haven't already. Lab denim is the champion. Lab denim, lab denim 18 is the champion. But we're here on Tay Noir 29. I like it. It's it's hmm for a cold weather fragrance it is a cold weather fragrance but i'm really getting fresh spicy and green but yet it's a cold weather fragrance now you think normally fresh spice fresh spicy and green notes you're thinking warm weather but this is like fresh spicy and green noir for cold weather. I can't put my finger on what this is like, what this is a realm in, you know, the realm that this is in. Ah, I have thought of something. This, now this is not accurate, like I said, it's not a clone. I would never say that about Lilabo. I know they're their own niche brand, high quality. They're their own beast. I'm just trying to give it, give you a feel kind of like a dark version of Chanel Platinum Eagle East. Kind of like that. Kind of like that, Chanel Platinum Eagle East, but the dark version, the dark version of that. Not nearly as strong, but it is strong in its own right, but I'm surprised that the fresh spicy and the green are coming through the most with that noir feel, if you will. Again, main accords, woody, fresh spicy, sweet, aromatic, fruity, tobacco, green, citrus, powdery, musky. Yeah, um, woody's coming through, the woodiness is coming through. It's got a sweetness to it that helps with it being a dark fragrance as well as aromatic. Um, I'm not getting fruity though. I'm not getting fruity, I'm not getting uh, citrus. Maybe a hint of tobacco's kicking in, but I'm getting like a, a dark, fresh, a dark, fresh, spicy, green, slightly sweet woody. And I don't, for the most part, like green fragrances, but this one, to me, I like. I like it. Good, very good for cold weather. To the naked nose, if you will, I would think most people, maybe most ladies would say, you put this on, you're gonna smell fresh. They're probably gonna think of this, of this as fresh. They're gonna say, oh, it's fresh. And Fresh Spicy is one of the main accords, but it's got a dark feel to it. Very much a dark feel, cold weather fragrance, that noir DNA, that noir. Noir is very uh, distinct in how it smells. It's not for, to me, it's not for warm weather. You wear this in the warm weather, it could be cloying. Even though Fresh Spicy is there, green is there, you wear this in the summer and the heat, to me this would get cloying in a hurry. This is for cold weather, but a cold weather, fresh, spicy, green fragrance. I think it's unique, it is very unique because you wouldn't think of those to be for the cold weather. So let's get to, the video's running long for first impressions. So let's get down to the note breakdown. Ah, here we go. Top notes are fig, bay leaf, and bergamot. That must be what I'm getting, I'm getting Fig and bay leaf. I can't really say that I'm getting bergamot. I remember smelling my favorite warm fragrance of all time, bergamot 22. I'm not getting any bergamot to me. But the fig and bay leaf, I think that's what that is. I am getting cedar. I'm getting cedar now. That is also very pre prevalent here, and that's in the middle, mid notes. Mid notes are cedar, vetiver, and musk. I'm not getting any vetiver. I know vetiver and I know vetiver well. 
that's one that I love and I know it well. I'm not getting rid of her. But I remember I've smelled fig uh, several times, not a lot, but several times. And this is giving me fig and bay leaf. And I smell bay leaf before the oils of bay leaf. I'm getting fig, bay leaf, not getting any bergamot, definitely getting cedar, no vetiver. I am getting musk. Musk is also in the mid, and then the base notes are tobacco and hay. I'm getting a, a slight tinge of tobacco, but I think I am getting that hay note. I'm getting the hay note much more than I'm getting tobacco. So I would say, and hay is, you know, hay, you know, just from saying the word hay and you know what hay is, you would think, oh, that's gonna make a fragrance smell. Ugh. No, it's, it's working. Big bay leaf to me in the top, what I'm getting. No bergamot, getting cedar and musk, no vetiver in the mid. And then in the base, I'm getting mostly hay. In fact, yeah, I don't, if I did smell tobacco, it's gone. But this is, this is unique. I'm gonna go ahead and say, oh, I don't know. I don't know if this is full bottle worthy though. I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. But would I want a full bottle like, like labbed in them? I don't know yet. So I'm gonna put it in the, I gotta feel out the rest of this fragrance as far as a, I'm gonna use up the rest of the sample and then we're gonna see if this is full bottle worthy. Okay, but this has been First Impressions 4, Tay Noir 29 from the House of Lilabo. Tay Noir 29 from the House of Lilabo. I appreciate all of my subscribers. Please continue to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, believe until you stop breathing. This has been Devalian Sense. I appreciate everyone. We'll see you in the next video.